Hi guys, this is Mike from Hudson Valley Hi-Fi. Today we're going to have an overview and a little description of the Luxman L509X integrated amplifier. And she's a beauty. This is Luxman's right now top of the line class AB amplifier and it is an astounding piece of audio gear. It is unbelievably well built and we're going to go over uh, all the functions of this unit and all the features. So at this time, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and click the uh, subscribe button below and hit the little bell so you can get these videos when they come out. We haven't recorded one in quite a bit of time and we have a whole bunch of equipment that we'd like to uh, show you and maybe get you a little more familiar with it before you make a purchase. So this is the 509X, and you can see it is a beautiful looking amplifier. The entire chassis, everything is just metal machined to perfection. And the front faceplate here with two large VU meters uh, is absolutely stunning. And it is a really amazing performer on a wide variety of speakers. So just to fill you in quickly about this amp, this is part of the Class AB amplifiers that Luxman produces. It produces 120 watts into 8 ohms. It also produces 220 watts into 4 ohms. And the first 6 watts are in a Class A mode, which is something we've picked up that information along the line. It's not something that's in the literature. So over on the left, pretty simple. That's your input selector. There's four line level inputs, uh, and then there's two balanced inputs. Um, also, you have your phono input here, which this is a moving magnet and moving coil phono input. Right below it's the operation button, um, puts it into standby mode when you're not using it. This does have um, record out monitor in uh, for recording devices, tape decks, if you're using some digital devices. Um, it has the record out and the monitor for you to play back. And right next to it is your moving magnet moving coil switch as well um, to switch the phono stage for your input. Then we have a speaker switch. Uh, this is capable of running two pairs, A and B. Uh, there are you know, two sets of binding posts in the rear. Um, you could run A and B together, but as always, we warn everybody, use very you know, ton of caution uh, when running two pairs of speakers, You know, making sure that your impedance is not super low. Uh, right next to that, bass treble, which these units all have bass and treble. Luxman kind of sticks to that old school design of having tone controls. They do uh, like to put them in most of their equipment, and this unit's no exception. Bass and treble are next to the balance control. And then there's two other buttons that are right here, line, straight, and separate. And these, are, these are important. Um, if you don't like tone controls or EQ in the circuit, you can push the line straight button and that will bypass uh, all of these controls and just have the volume control uh, in the front end. Um, separate, uh, there are a set of jumpers in the rear. There aren't jumpers, they're internally jumped, but there is a pre-out and a main in. So pre-amp out, main amplifier in, and by pushing the separate button, uh, you could separate those two, the pre-amp from the amp. Um, we have a few customers using these uh, in a sort of home theater two-channel setup, you know, kind of mixing the two. And it's really nice to have, you know, the separate switch where you can do that and separate the preamp from amp, and then you can run the amplifier as your front left and right of home theater uh, with a processor and then switch it up back to two-channel, pure analog, you know, for running your music. On the front panel, obviously the big view meters are just gorgeous. Um, Right now we're, we're speaker off, so uh, they're still operational. Down below, monitor, uh, lets you know when you've depressed the monitor button. Subsonic, 
mono and standby. Well, standby is your, your power standby. Um, but subsonic mono and loudness are all switchable from the remote control. Um, the remote is, is really a beautiful aluminum remote for this unit and has all those functions on it. The standby light illuminates when you do power it down. There is a standby mode this can stay in, uh, along with line straight and separate. Uh, so those are the two buttons over here. Then we have one of the very overlooked items, but it's very important in this, is the volume attenuator um, on this amp. This is the Lakua, uh, and it is the Lakua 1000. It's part of their Lakua stands for Luxman Electronically Controlled Ultimate Attenuator. Uh, this is a, it's not detented, but it is stepped using the remote control and the electronic control inside. It is a very sophisticated function and it, it definitely works exceptionally well. Very smooth operation, both from the remote and when you turn it. Uh, it has a really good feel to it. Um, you can tell it's something that's gonna last forever. Um, and then you also have your phono jack down here. Um, if you do have headphones, this performs beautifully, even on very inefficient headphones. So that's kind of the front panel. And you can see the top of the unit is this just beautifully machined Oh man, it's, it's, it's like a high, glossy, brushed look uh, with these <laughs> unbelievably milled uh, vent, you know, on top. Uh, it's one of the features of this amp. This was on the uh, M700U uh, separate power amplifier, and it's also on this amp. I'm, I'm glad that this has that beautiful top panel uh, that really pops. So we'll take a split moment here, and let's take a look at the back of this unit. And we have the back of the L509X. And you can see here's our two sets of speaker binding posts. Very heavy, beautiful design. You can do bare wire spades uh, or bananas right into the ends. Um, so simple, really, really well constructed. Uh, you have an IEC port, and that would be your AC in. Uh, obviously, this is a 120 volt unit. That's a whole other conversation. Make sure if you're in the United States, um, you are buying a 120 volt unit from an authorized seller. Um, they will have similar sockets, um, just different cords, and the unit's not meant to be ran in other areas of the world. Um, so that's one big thing we caution everybody is make sure you're buying your Luxman products from a authorized dealer in the country you're planning on using it in. The rest of the panel here, left side, we have the phono jacks. They do give you these beautiful shorting plugs if you're not using your phono input right next to your ground point if your table has a ground. And here is your four sets of line inputs. We took our caps off the first one there. Uh, we were playing uh, single-ended. I believe we had a uh, phono stage running into it, actually. Um, right next to it, here is your tape loop, cord out monitor, processor tape loop. Um, to the right of that, here's those pre-out main ends that we were talking about with the separate switch. So if you are running a home theater and you want to run this as a, a home theater style bypass, this is exactly where you would do it. You would hook your uh, processor from your home theater to the main end. And then when you want it to run in home theater mode, uh, you'd simply just separate them. You turn this on, hit the separate button. To the right of there, we also have the caps out of our balanced inputs. There are two sets of balanced inputs on here, which is awesome. Uh, many pieces of equipment have balanced outputs, and if it's possible, that's a great way of uh, hooking up to your amplifier using an XLR. And that's kind of the whole back panel here. Um, again, very well constructed, unbelievable. Let's have a quick look at the remote. Okay, here is the remote control, and this comes with all of the solid state integrated amplifiers from Luxman. This is their RA-17A remote control unit, and it, it is a very, very well crafted remote. Um, I know it sounds, it's a little pretentious saying I need a really high quality remote control, but this, <laughs> this is absolutely uh, a high quality remote. It's a solid feel. Um, the buttons here have this really good just it, they have a great feel to them um, they click when you depress them and it, it's just a very well-made 
remote control. So on the top left is operation. That would be to turn your uh, amplifier on and off. Um, and you know, it simply turns the unit on. It comes out of, goes into a startup mode. The meters come on. The amplifier comes on. Once it's on, also on the remote here, we have the meter button, which once depressed, turns off the meters. This is great if you're in a room, again, going back to the home theater thing too, if you're in a darker room and you really don't want the meters on because you're watching a movie or something and you want to have the room dark, it's great to be able to turn them off just by pushing the button on the remote. So further we have our line inputs or phono input, balance one, balance two. These are all controllable from the remote up here. Uh, along with our monitor button. If you want to uh, you know, go to our monitor input, which would then be also coming out of our record out, we can monitor that back into the unit by turning this on. And here's all those options we were talking about before. Subsonic loudness, uh, mono, line straight separate. These are all controllable from the remote control as well, which uh, the line straight is a really nice feature to have on the remote because you can turn it on and off from your seat. You don't have to get up and, and push that control, uh, which is great if you're looking to compare the sound of the EQ in versus the EQ out. Uh, you could do it right from your seat. Volume up, volume down, mute, um, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, and then we have this section here, operation um, and play stop, you know, rewind and fast forward, or, you know, shuffle tracks. This is the CD, SACD player. Um, that functions with the Luxman CD and SACD players. So if you do have uh, some digital sources from Luxman, uh, this remote will work with them as well. So, you know, for example, we're running, uh, this is a DO 3X uh, CD player that we're running into the 509X. This section will run that remote, uh, run the remote control features of that DO 3. So that is a not so short overview, but I hope if you are um, thinking of looking at a 509X, this gives you a little more information and, um, you know, just all the functions that this unit has, what it can do, um, and what it's capable of. Uh, if you haven't heard one of these, um, I urge you to go check them out if you're in the market for an amp at this level. It is um, one of the best I've heard in its price range. Um, it is absolutely outstanding. Um, Luxman does have a little bit of a sound to them, but it's not, um, you know, a house sound, so to speak. Um, this amp I find to be slightly, slightly warm, a little bit, but not, not mellow at all. Uh, it has plenty of punch, plenty of bite. Uh, and we'll have a whole nother video at some point um, comparing the 509X and uh, some of the other counterparts in the Luxman lineup. Uh, the other part to keep in mind about this unit is, if you, if you see some of the descriptions, Luxman will describe it as a dual chassis unit. And the idea there is that, unlike a dual mono, where your left and right amplifier is separated, in this case, the preamp and the amplifier uh, are separated inside. They don't share uh, power supply or regulation supply. They have their own winding. They have their own everything. So it gives you separation almost as if you have separates in one chassis. And that's, um, that's a pretty unique concept uh, to this amplifier. I know there may be others out there. I could be wrong. You know, you can correct me in the comments. I, I'm, I can handle that. Um, but it is very cool that that's how this amplifier was designed, was to be sort of a separates in a box. And uh, that makes it a great value as well if you're looking at the cost of separates you know, versus an integrated at this level. So if you have any questions about this amp or any of the Luxman products, um, please feel free to give us a call in the store here. Um, again, it's Hudson Valley Hi-Fi. We are located in Cornwall, New York. Uh, we're about an hour outside of New York City. We are happy to answer any of your questions. You can email me anytime. It's Mike, M-I-K-E, at HudsonValleyHiFi.com, our website. That's in valleyhifi.com. Uh, the number here in the store is 845-219-1730. You can call and text us anytime. Uh, also, if you're interested in any of these, you know, certainly reach out. We're happy to help out. Um, putting you in an amp that you've, you know, 
been looking for for a while. Happy to answer any questions and, you know, make that a reality for you. If, again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Please click that button below. We'd love to keep making these videos for you. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.